It's different class. Capitalist will beat the stable mate detective. But the bankroll continues to escalate for Capitalist. And Capitalist will brain them the favourite bolts in the Magic Million. such an exciting time again for Newgate, four new stallions for this year and highlighted by a retiring Golden Slipper winner, doesn't get much better than that. Oh, absolutely Caroline, I think that's that's the dream given the given the success of, of stallions that have won that race. I know we just feel so blessed to, to, to stand a horse like Capitalist at Newgate. Um, we're very thankful to the owners obviously and the shareholders and, and now our job is to, you know, we give them every opportunity, give them every, you know, the best start in, in, in his stud career and uh, that's, that's our goal and our mission and our, um, that's where all our time and effort is being spent now. He looks as if he's settled in very well. He looks an absolute ball of muscle still here today as we're filming him sort of earlier before the season. But he's, he's obviously, you know, pretty fired up. He knows he's the man. Oh, yeah, he's uh, King Kong. He's certainly King Kong around the place. But uh, I, I suppose, and we'll talk about it, you know, with, with regard to his two-year-old career, uh, his constitution and his... Um, his, his nature was such a big part of why he was such a great two-year-old and you see that here, he's let down straight away. You can see, you know, he's let down into a ball already. He's very forward for his age, he's very forward mentally as well, so he's ready for the season to start. But uh, he's just swinging off this Blake shit off Capitalist. You look just at the, the record that he had, the Breeders Plate, you know, the, the Gold Coast Magic Millions, the Golden Slipper. I mean, it is, they are the, the peak races really, aren't they, obviously, for, for the two-year-old season. The, the way they're spaced, it's very hard to to, to win all three, um, which he did of course. He was he is the first horse ever to accomplish that. It shows you how hard it is, I suppose. And credit to Peter Snowden and Paul Snowden. They kept him up and going and he was able to peak three times, uh, something that no other horse has been able to do in history. Well, they always spoke so well of him, didn't they, Peter and Paul Snowden? I mean, you know, Peter's not the sort to wax lyrical, but he was so adamant that this was the horse and he would win, not just the Magic Millions, but onto the Golden Slipper. He never lost faith, faith in the horse at one stage. 100%. He's always in the, the first group of uh, two-year-olds in, in, in um, the Snowden camp. I know, obviously, with, uh, with James Harron uh, managing the syndicate. He was always sort of communicating back to us that this Britain tycoon yelling is in the first bunch, he's in the first bunch, he's in the first bunch, and he just stayed there all the way through. He did. Look, his sire, Britain tycoon, it's fascinating. He's getting so many more winners now. You know, he's been an underrated sire for a long time, but he's getting, you know, the, the horses like Winning Rupert or Music Magnate, Tycoon Tara. You know, he's really hitting a, a purple patch himself, but he's always had that ability to sire top precocious horses. We know and you know how hard it is for these stallions to go on and throw their own ability and pass that ability onto their stock and I mean Written Tycoon, hats off to him, he's just done an incredible job starting off at 6,000 plus GST uh, and working with a, you know, a lower level sort of quality of mare and, and he's built his own house really, he's paved his own way and he now stands obviously at Woodside Park for 80,000 plus GST. He's fully booked. We've got a number of mares on this farm that have, that have travelled down to visit him. And 165 last time and I sell him all done. I sell him for 165. Done. All done. 165. James Harron, thank you. It's a golden slipper pedigree without doubt because, you know, we know Compulsion, her grandmother won the Blue Diamond Prelude and Preview. She's the full sister to Merlene, the golden slipper winner. The next day and back you get to Bold Promise, who was a group winning two-year-old herself. So it is just a pedigree to be a golden slipper winner and to continue to throw those precocious two-year-olds. I, th I think that's the key point here, Caroline. I think, you know, as capitalist, the fact is his, his genetic makeup and his genes and his pedigree said, two-year-old speed and, and when you looked at him through. physically it said two-year-old speed the and then you know he and went on and did it on the track and, and and has done and things that no other two-year-olds have done in the past stars. I mean I think that's a it's a huge point he is what his pedigree says he is he is what his physique says he is and and hopefully he'll pass that on if he does he'll be a really you know, a really successful stallion and really popular stallion here. He is an outcross too really isn't he even though there is a bit of Dame Hill in there but but it's not right up really close. Yeah, 100%, Caroline. I'd say physically he's very easy to mate to. He's touch over 16 hands and he gives you the strength and he's got enough leg. He's got, he's just 
beautifully proportioned horse in fairness. So I think physically he's a really ho easy horse to mate to. His second dam is by Danehill, but we've seen a lot of the key breeders sending Danehill line mares to him to sex balance Danehill through a male and through a female. So people, um, people like doing that. And, and Ritten Tycoon himself has done well with Danehill line mares. He's done well with a lot of different different mares. And a big part of his popularity, obviously being such a star, is also the fact that he's very easy to mate to physically and on pedigree. Lloyd rides into the line, sends into the line, and winning Rupert by six and a half. Winning Rupert just a later, attention flashing through, mate, with Sue Shane, but winning Rupert. And of course you have another son of Ritten Tycoon, and that is winning Rupert. Now he's just a gorgeous sprinting horse who Bjorn Baker always loved. And he's the same sort of colour, not only the colour, the lovely rich uh, liver chestnut as his sire, but he's also the same sort of physique. He's just a beautiful horse. Mm, absolutely, Carol. He's our, he's our look and book horse, you know, he's that liver chestnut. He's a throwback to the great colonial speed horses, the Star Kingdom line, the Luskin Stars, that sort of really dark colouring, but then the big hip and the forearm and the real quality through his head. So he's a lovely horse that you just need to get people here to see. Um, you know, obviously with, with our broodmare band, it's extensive. For us to stand a stallion, we need to, to really believe in that horse. And, and winning Rupert will be receiving 35 mares from Newgate Partners. We have to stand the bullseye stallions here that we really believe in. Winning Rupert's one of those. We're going to back him with 35 of our best mares. They really need to be going to the horses that are going to produce athletes. I mean, this is what it's all about too. You know, pedigree is great, but, but you want to, to be producing an athlete that will make it on the track. Absolutely. That's where all your value is made on the racetrack, Caroline. Our job is then to add value to these mares. We feel as though we're adding value by sending them to winning Rupert. Our whole model here, we feel your best chance at standing a champion stallion is by starting with the faster sons of the best stallions. And we've got no doubt that he is one of the fastest sons of Ritten Tycoon. And we back that up with, with time figures and time sectionals. You've got the likes of Dominic Byrne and Daniel O'Sullivan, these guys, the time, the time figures guys that were just all over winning Rupert. I mean, these guys are professional punters, so they, they need to get it right when they're assessing form, assessing speed, assessing ability. And, you know, it's to have Dominic Byrne come out in the press and say, you know, this, this last racing season, I've match raced all these horses on my speed figures. Chautauqua, uh, Capitalist, Flying Artie, Extreme Choice, The Stern, Star Turn, all the top sprinters of, of, of the current group. And I've got winning Rupert at weight for age group one level as the favourite in that race. He could have been anything. He's, he's had five starts for five wins. He's broken two track records, and then in the third, he's run 0.1 outside of takeover targets, doom and record. Oh, this is a seriously, seriously fast horse. And on top of that, pedigree-wise, he's so easy to mate to. Like, he's Daniel free, he's Dan Zig free. Um, he's obviously Byron and Tycoon, and he's good looking, and he's fast. And, and the commercial market, you know, by the time we get to sales, we're always gonna be thinking, you know, who, who's gonna buy the stock of winning Rupert? Well, all those syndicators, the mums and dads, they all know winning Rupert. He had such a big profile, Bjorn was out there spruiking him. This is the fastest horse I've ever trained. He was winning by five and six lengths, you know, just uh, under a big hole. We genuinely feel like we are standing a group one winning weight for age, son of Ritten Tycoon at stud here and winning Rupert. And you can access him for 20 plus GST, $20,000 plus GST. We just think he's an absolute no brainer.